welcome to the JD Motorsports website. Well, this is Mike, NASCAR driver Mike Wallace, and we are the best value in motorsports. We just wanted to give you a little highlight clip of the first race of the season down at Daytona International Speedway. You see myself and Jeremy Clements out in an open practice session, what we call the two-car tandem draft, where we're literally pushing each other at almost 200 mile an hour down the super stretch of Daytona International Speedway. We'll do this and we'll push and then we'll get pushed. We'll swap these up back and forth. You'll see myself right there where Jeremy's now pushing me. And why that's come to play is they've actually made these cars run about four seconds a lap quicker. And then, after we go through all of that pushing and practicing, then here we are out in a qualifying run. The nice part about this, this is additional television exposure. All of our races on ESPN, ESPN2, or ABC. Live national coverage on a, on a weekly basis. And the car's always got in-focus television time when it comes to qualifying speeds. We've just got done with our qualifying lap. The car's slowing down at this time. The, Television announcers are announcing what our time is to the, to the country, basically. We're down below the yellow line, slowing down the nice in-camera focus you can always see. At this point, it's G&K Services, a large rental uniform company, is our primary sponsor at Daytona in 2012. You'll see some smaller sponsors, associate sponsors that pick up through this type of television coverage. As that progresses on and then, you get all the coverage from the race. You get the what we call the TV camera, the TV panel, the back of the car. And through this type of racing, you've always got a lot of excitement. It's back and forth, swap and lead, back and forth, along with myself right there. You see, and in the middle, basically coming to the middle of the screen, the draft is so incredibly important at Daytona and Talladega, the super speedways on the circuit where you utilize the pushing. You see myself right up behind former Sprint Cup Series champion, Kurt Busch, Dale Earnhardt Jr. leading the pack. It's my brother, Kenny Wallace, no nine card. Danica Patrick coming up behind me. That's the type of groups we race in. Race in, race out. There I am, three wide on the back straightaway. Go, oh my gosh, it's high wide. We call it high wide and handsome in Daytona. But the purpose of showing all this is the amount of television coverage and exposure that's generated through a NASCAR team sponsorship. Along with this, this is the type of race and an action that takes place. Here we are right now pushing Sam Hornish in this race. We're running first and second to front of the field. The whole world's watching us push Sam Hornish in a Pen the Penske number 12 car to the lead of the race. I'm running second. That's Kurt Busch lined up behind me in the Hendrick.com car and his brother Kyle Busch in the Monster Energy car. And the type of racing, you'll see this draft will close up quickly. We'll run side by side. They'll close up. They'll separate us. But the whole part, we are in, in focus, and we're being talked about all the time on television at this point. And uh, this will continue lap after lap. And as we segment through it, the camera will get closer, farther away. This is just a visual of what's taking place at 200 mile an hour at Daytona. And this happens 33 other times throughout the season and all the races with the live television coverage, live radio coverage that we have. And boy, this is a lot of fun. I've been fortunate enough, I've won at Daytona three times, two times at Talladega. This pushing is uh, something unique to NASCAR racing. It started in 2011, it's 2012. They're trying to change it a little bit, but you can see the Bush brothers get a run on the outside of us. They're gonna get us closed up. The, the air is gonna separate Sam Hornish and myself a little bit as they continue to push on the outside line, that's running about three seconds a lap faster than you would in a non-push format. That separation allows the rest of the crew, uh, meaning the rest of the teams behind us, actually to close up. You see they made a run on us on the outside. They've all got lined up. We'll keep reformatting this throughout the whole race, back and forth, top, bottom. I asked Sam after the race, hey, what happened? Why'd you drop down? He says, hey, my boss told me I needed to back up and get my teammate Keselowski in the 22 car. So we're kind of out there by ourselves. You're seeing what guys are doing. We're going to catch back up. We'll recycle this again. Here I am with my brother Kenny Wallace. Kenny's in the 09 car. We've kind of teamed up. We're pushing each other through there. We drive down into turn one. It kind of gets separated. I'm three wide. Don't know what that 14 car is going to do. So I got to get a check up. At that time, Mike Bliss comes up behind me, pushing us off a of turn two. The, it creates a vacuum through the center line. You see how fast we make our way back towards the front. 
along with the 11 car and numerous other cars. And here we're the type of racing again. We're down in the middle of the back stretch, the super stretch of Daytona International. I'm pushing my brother Kenny Wallace up through the field and the 22 car and the 38 get lined up underneath of us. They got a little bit of run and what happens is we, they get their front fenders to your quarter panel, kind of separates it. We got a little bit of help coming from the back. Get separated because he got free off of turn four. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is just the type of racing. And all of a sudden we drive down into turn one. Michael Annette drives down in the bottom of us, wiggles around a little bit. It's like, oh my gosh, we need a little space here, guys. I'm back to the top three wide. I'm going to push Kenny on down the back straight away. We're going to drive on by them. You see the big push. And you're actually running about six, seven mile an hour faster at that point than what you were to get that big push up through the, through the outside. And there we are in the center. And that's, the, of course, the six and the 12 down on the bottom side. You try to stay tucked together because you can run faster at that point. Then as the race progresses on, you change it up. There's Brad Keselowski and myself on the outside. I finally got to Keselowski. He's drug his brake. That's Kyle Busch and Dale Earnhardt with Tony Stewart and Elliot Sadler. But the big push from the from the 01 and the 22, here we come. We're going to make a run on them on the outside. And um, again, lined up. You can see how the, the traffic and the race is all throughout it. Ten rows deep, two wide, three wide. It's incredible action. The whole point about it is here we are live on national television in front of the whole crowd. We're running fourth right there. Keselowski with my brother Kenny behind us. We get a big run on the outside, and that's Tony Stewart and Danica Patrick in front of us, and we're getting ready, ready to drive around the outside of them. You hope to have nice, clean air push. You don't want to get behind them, kind of, kind of stalls you out unless you get them pretty far behind and then we'll utilize that car in front of us but right there we get separated the 22 I got to drag the brake here we are back off of turn four drop in behind Joe Nemechek Joe and I worked really well at Talladega in 2011 he's behind Mike Bliss so you kind of pick and choose your partners at Liberty whoever's going to help you throughout the race and certain segments of, of the race there's my brother Kenny Wallace in the 09 car pushing me the purpose again this is in the television coverage that's provided of watching live action at Daytona International Speedway. As we let it go, breathe a little bit. Oh, there, uh, Natty got run into by Robert Richardson getting in in turn one. Almost wrecks us. We've got to check up. Kenny sees what happens. He checks up, gives me a little space. I'm dragging the brake to get back to him. He'll be coming back up to me again. We're going to have to regroup. And it's like, why did you guys drive down on the inside of us like that? made no sense at all but that's how it happens and we do 300 miles of this you know basically at 190 to 200 mile an hour most of the time and then when you get a big run on somebody even though you want to use in this case my brother Kenny Wallace as a partner you got to go but JD Motorsports is the best value in motorsports I'm Mike Wallace your driver we look forward to working with you in the future